assalamu alaikum students now the mock revision sheet which i have shared with you i want to solve all questions on geometry in one video uh, look into this first question the interior angle of a regular polygon when the word regular polygon comes make a triangle very quickly which gives you the relationship between exterior angle and the number of sides he gave you interior angle 150. So from the interior, I can easily get the exterior 180 minus interior as interior and exterior. They are supplementary. So interior is going to be subtracted from 180. It gives us 30 degrees exterior. So with the help of this formula, the, this formula, I'm talking about this. So number of sides will be equal to 360 divided by one exterior angle. So he gave you exterior and we found it exterior 30 degrees. So the final answer will come to you 12. So 360 divided by 30 gives you 12. We found the number of sides easily. Next part is. Uh, we need to use circle properties to find the angle Z. So guys, angle Z is made by the chord and the tangent. You all remember by alternate segment theorem, this Z must be the same as this angle, which the chord is making on the circumference. Also, you can see that ML and KL are uh, same side. So triangle MKL is isosceles. If it is isosceles, the angles opposite to the equal sides must also be equal. So I'm going to say that this angle is Z. Right? Now, you can also see that M. K side is a diameter. So if this is a diameter wise, what is the property of the diameters? When the endpoints of the diameters are joined, when the endpoints of the diameters are joined anywhere on the circumference, like here, he is joining them at point L on the circumference that angle is always a uh, 90 degrees so this is 90 degrees so this is 90 degree now we can say that the by using the angle sum of our triangle z plus z plus 90 must be equal to 180 and 2z is equal to 180 minus 90 to z is equal to 90 and z will be 45 as 90 divided by 2 will be the z equals to 45 degrees clear boys let's go to the next question in next question he says AT is a tangent, yes, uh, and uh, this one is a chord. The chord is making an angle with the tangent 58. By using the property of tangent segment theorem, this angle and this angle, both angles will be 58. This is 58 and this is 58. Now, my friends, if we look into this small triangle, you know the two angles, you can find the third one. How can we find the third one? This angle. We can find it 180 minus 58 plus 27 
it gives us 180 minus 58 plus 27 it is 95 and you know that uh, the um, uh, angle on a straight line 180 degree one of them is 95 we can find the x so x will be equal to 180 minus 95 we can use another property that the sum of the interior angle is is equal to the opposite exterior any 58 plus 27 is equal to x we can do it but i actually did it in detail i found the third angle and now i'm subtracting the third angle from 180 by using the uh, the straight angle property uh, so 180 minus 95 it gives us 85 so this angle is 85 next we can see here parallel lines so in parallel lines we have uh, a very important concept look at that this and this is a parallel line and any line which cuts the parallel lines we have the supplementary angles this is this is why this angle should be 180 minus y because they are supplementary another important thing that i can find this angle 180 minus 108 which is 72 now can you see cyclic quadrilateral property here uh, f is opposite to h so i'm gonna say that 180 minus y is equals to 180 minus uh, 72 so y will be equals to 72 so we found this angle 72 clear boys so let me explain you one more time how did we do this we found this angle first which is 180 minus 108 it gives us 72 with the help of this angle we wrote this angle 180 minus 72 it gives us 108 and now these two angles are supplementary so 180 minus 108 which is 72 so boys we found the angle 72 this is an important question in which the two triangles are given and we want to prove them they are congruent so for congruent triangles there are four rules number one is triple s property that the three sides of one triangle uh, equal to the three sides of the other triangle we have angle side angle property and we have side angle side property the last one is called rhs property for right angle triangles now if we look into this triangle o a b and the other triangle o d c or o c d these two triangles it is clearly seen that OA is equals to OC. Why? Because they are radii of a circle. Second, OB is equal to OD. Again, both are the radii of the same circle next is he said that on and om this distance 
is same. The rule says that if the distance of any chord from the um, uh, from the center is same, then the chords must have same length. So I can say AB is equal to CD. AB is equal to CD. The reason is they have they are same distance or equidistant equidistant from the center. Both chords are having the same distance from the uh, from the center or if the student doesn't want to write equidistant from the center he simply write because OM is equals to OM and then your two triangles what are the two triangles OAB will become congruent to the triangle OCD which property has made us to prove this the triple S property because three sides of one triangle are congruent to the three sides of the other triangle so for the final exams you need to keep these three uh, four properties in your mind if uh, uh, one triangle and the other triangle you can prove that this side is equal to this this side is equal to this and the third side is equal to the third side then this property is called side 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 property um, and uh, if you have two triangles and you want to prove them they are congruent then one angle one pair of angle and the other one and then this side is same as this so look at that angle side angle angle side angle then you'd call this property as uh, the two triangles are congruent because of angle side angle next is if he gives you the two triangles again and he asks he's asking you are they congruent then side angle side this is side this is angle and this is the side okay so side angle side property the last one is RHS property if you have a triangle But it has to be right. One angle has to be 90 degree. Okay. And uh, in the high power in use, same. And uh, one more side is same. Then you can call it as uh, through RHS property, the two triangles are congruent. But in this particular case, the first property was used. Next question number two, if you look at, uh, we know that o, o, E, D triangle, this is isosceles triangle. The reason is O, D and O, E are the radii. So it makes the triangle O, E, D isosceles. So I will say this is 28. It helps me to find this angle. So 180 minus bracket open 28 plus 28 bracket close gives me 124. So I found this angle 124. Now, as you know, the central angle, this is your central angle, and at the back we have a an half angle. So I can write this angle also as 120, not, not, not same angle, half of that. So 62 because 124 was divided by 2, it gives you 62 degrees. So this angle is 62. Now, uh, can we use um cyclic uh, property um so or why not we can answer the questions which are given over here because he gave you two questions angle ebd 
E B D. We found it. Angle E B D is equal to 62. Uh, first, we use isosceles triangle property. Opposite angles uh, in an isosceles triangle uh, to the equal sides are also equal. Or you can write isosceles triangle property. Second is angle at the circumference is half of the angle at the center subtended by the same arc angle EAD guys EAD this angle Obviously, this angle is also 62 angle by the same segment. Look at that. If this is making 62, that has to be 62. 62 angle in the same segment. B E O. Oh wow, this is beautiful angle. If you want this, I call it as X. Use the cyclic quadrilateral property 109, and this angle they are supplementary. As we know that this triangle. Oh, sorry, this quadrilateral is supplement uh, is cyclic, so I can easily find the x angle. So x will be equals to what? One hundred and eighty minus one hundred nine plus thirty five plus twenty eight. One eighty minus one hundred nine plus 35 plus 28 it gives us 8 so x is 8 we found it and what are the reasons we use the cyclic quadrilateral property and uh, uh, yeah the cyclic quadrilateral property we use it this statement which i have written over here you can write in the answering space. Now, in a regular polygon, the interior angle is 11 times the exterior angle. You all remember the important property, interior and exterior angle in any polygon, they are supplementary, their sum should be 180. He said interior is 11 times the exterior angle. So I will write 11 times the exterior angle. I can easily find the exterior 12e is equal to 180. Now exterior angle comes to me 180 divided by 12. It gives me 15 degrees. So my exterior angle is 15. To find the number of sides, 360 divided by the exterior angle so 360 divided by 15 it gives us 24 sides the sum of the interior angle of this polygon the sum of the interior angles of n sides its formula is n minus 2 times 180 now how many sides you have you have 24 sides i'm going to write here 24 minus 2 times 180 24 minus 2 
times 180, it gives us 3960. This is the sum of the interior angles of 24 sided polygon. Next question number three exterior angle of a regular polygon is x and the interior is 8x. Again, I will write interior plus exterior is equal to 180. Exterior is x, interior is 8x, 180. So 9x, 180. So your x will be equals to x will be equals to guys uh, 20 degrees. Now we want to find the number of sides. 360 degrees divided by 20. So the number of sides will be 18. Now the circle properties. We want to find angle C D B. C D B. This angle is required. So if you want to get this angle, first of all, we say that this is 90 degrees. Why it's 90? Right angle in a semicircle. When the diameter is given, if the end points of the diameters are joined anywhere, you get a 90 degree. And this angle is 58. The reason is this arc CD is making angle at A should be the same as the angle at B. So these two angles must be the same. 58. I can easily find this angle now. 180 minus 90 plus 58. So 90 minus 58 gives you 32 degrees. Question number, uh, no, still question number three. We have parallel lines. Don't forget parallel lines, the alternate pair of angles. So alternate angles are, this is 48. This is also the Z concept. This is also 48. And uh, this angle must be the same as this angle. As you all remember that this is the arc making an angle at the center and also it is making an angle at the circumference. So what is the relationship? This angle is the half. So divided by two it gives you 24. So this is 24. O, OPR angle we want to find. So that angle has to be 24. The radius of the circle is 5.4. On the length of the major arc. The length of the major arc PQ. Let me explain you which one is a major arc and which one is a minor arc. This circumference part is a major arc. And this one is minor arc. Can I find uh, angle which is made by the major arc at the center, this angle. To get this angle, you write 360 minus 48. 312. You remember the formula? Arc length formula is angle at the center, which is 312 divided by 360 times 2 times pi times radius, which is 5.4. So 312 over 360 
times 2 times pi times 5.4, it gives you 29.4. Next, we want to prove that the two triangles are congruent. So, QPN and SRN. QPN. Since the sides are parallel, be careful. We have to make the alternate pair of angles. This angle, angle P, should be the same as angle S. Angle P is equal to angle S. And also, angle R should be the same as angle Q. And both reasons are alternate pair of angles, Z concept in parallel lines. Alternate pair of angles. And the third thing is angle N. For this and this. For both triangles, they are same. These angles are same because they are the vertical opposite angles. If you don't want to write angle N and angle N, you can write here angle P N Q is the same as angle S N R. Clear? So as you see that all the angles are same when the angles are same do we have any side equal he said n is the midpoint of rq so if n is the midpoint of rq it means r and side must be the same as q and side so angles are same but we, it, the, it cannot prove that the two triangles are similar we need to use the property if you allow me, guys, I can just try to engage the side first. As he said, N is the midpoint. So if N is the midpoint, it means Rn side is equal to Q and side. Why? Because N is the midpoint. And uh, can I erase uh, this because I don't need it? I don't need it. I want to use this angle, this angle, and the side. You remember angle, side, angle to prove the congruency. So angle N which I wrote it over there, angle P and Q is equal to angle S and R, S and R, the vertical opposite angles. Imagine what I did, I use the vertical opposite angles, I use the alternate pair of angles, and I use the mid uh, point property that N is the midpoint of RQ, which helps me to say that RN is equal to uh, QN. After this, the three things, I am ready to say that the two triangles, triangle PQN is congruent to triangle SRN. The reason is which property? Angle side angle property. How? How did I prove it? Let me explain you. I proved that this angle is same as this angle. I proved that this angle is same as this angle. And I proved that this side is same as this side. So angle 
side angle angle side angles angle side angle property says that the two triangles are congruent question number four if you look at that he told you this is 48 p can be found easily 180 minus 48 180 minus 48 will give you 132 and uh, this angle is 48 vertical opposite angles they are the same now i can easily find q 180 degrees minus 55 plus 48 180 minus 55 minus 48 will give me 77. So 132 and uh, Q is 77. The angles of a quadrilaterals are given. Um, their mm -hmm. sum should be one uh, 360 because the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360s so i will add them up and their sum is 100 and uh, 360 sorry so x x 2x and x i will write here 5x and then uh, 5 minus 25 is minus 20, minus 20 plus 10 is minus 10, so 360. Here is minus 10, and we write plus 10, so x is equal to 370 over 5. Seventy-four. Regular polygon has 72 sides. First we find exterior angle. Five. If my exterior is five, my interior would be the supplement of five. That has to be one hundred and seventy-five degrees. This question is interesting. I want to find U first. Mm, yeah, I want to find U first. So, which properties, uh, guys? We can apply it here to get the angle u um, angle u is uh, i will look into this later this is pretty simple for me that it is 60 degrees then it has to be 60 degrees it has to be 60 degrees the reason tangent segment theorem if this is your tangent this is your chord and the chord is producing angles at the circumference this is 60 so this should also be 60 so we found v and w so v and w they are 60 and 60 we found them did he mention something here that uh, ac is a diameter if ac is a diameter then this angle has to be 90 degree this angle has to be 90 degree then you can be found easily 180 minus 90 plus 60 so that comes to us 30 degrees so u is 30 degrees clear boys next is we want to find x where is x it's a isosceles triangle can you check that this and this 
this is 30 and now to get x 180 minus 30 plus 30 that will give you 120 or you can use the half double property that the angle at the center is always double the angle at the center uh, at the circumference by the same uh, arc y where is y um guys y is easy now because this angle was 30 90 degrees minus 30 will be oh, no need it's an isosceles triangle so that angle should be 60 as well so y should be no no i don't think so he's asking you the full angle he's asking you let me see clearly which one i'm trying to find uh, he's asking you the y angle this this y angle it's pretty simple um if we find uh, this angle first this is 20 degrees guys and you remember the total angle was 90 degrees so from 90 from 90 you will subtract 30 and 20 so 90 minus 50 it will give you 40 so y is 40 look into this beautiful property um, he gave you 5x this angle at the circumference can i find this angle definitely this angle will be the double of 5x so 2 times 5x which is 10x now 10x and this angle the total angle should be 360 this total is 360 so i'm writing 10x plus 3x plus 22 is equal to 360 in one complete rotation your angle is 360 so 13x 360 minus 22 360 minus 22 gives us 338 divided by 13 so x is 26 And this question I have already shared with you, the video, question number five. That's all, guys, for the circle questions which I shared with you in the mock revision sheet.